Hello, welcome everyone. Um, thanks for, for making the effort to come this early. Um, so my name is Matt Ravizano. I'm the, the founder and CEO of Wibson. Um, so today I'm going to start talking about what we do at Wibson. And the second half, I will use it to give you an update of the progress you've made over the last few months. So data is everywhere. We know that. Um, every time that we go online or even we walk in the streets, somebody, some companies are collecting that information. Um, just when you go online, over 200 companies are, are gathering our f digital footprint. Um, and the problem is that in most cases they're doing it without our explicit consent. And in some cases they're doing it without us even, even knowing about it. But the, the, the real deep implication is that um, we are data. Data defines us. And by letting other companies collect more and more information about us, what we are really giving away is our freedom. So that's why we feel that what we are doing at Wibson is so important and has a social mission. Um, so from a business perspective, um, the reason why companies are collecting and selling all this information is because our data is worth a lot of money. So here you can see a very basic description of the monetiz data monetization value chain, where you have people, consumers, all of us, generating data. The data is collected, as I, as I was saying, in most cases without our explicit consent, by data brokers. We call data brokers to all the companies that uh, are in the business of gathering data, processing it, selling it for a profit. Um, so all these companies are collecting our data, and then they're selling it to companies that need the data to operate. Nowadays, e almost every company is a data company, so the market is pretty big. Um, just the market for display advertising, the banners you see when you go online, is $120 billion per year, in this year, 2019. So, um, and 60% of that, about $70,000, is because, $70, $70 billion is because of your data, only for display advertising. So it's a huge market. And, and basically, all the, that money that the data buyers pay is profit from the, for, or revenue for the data brokers. So um, this ecosystem is clearly broken, doesn't work. So that's why we are building Wibson. We are building Wibson because we believe that everyone has the right to own their data. That means that you should be able to control who is collecting your data, to know, to start with, who is collecting your data, uh, for what purpose they want to use it, for how long, and more importantly, you should be able to benefit from the value that your data generates for third parties. Okay? So, that's why we created Wibson, which is a decentralized Ethereum based um, personal data marketplace that allows individuals, every one of us, to sell our information in a way that's uh, secure and anonymous. So that's basically what we do at Wibson. But for us, as I was saying, this has a very strong, deep social mission. So from the very beginning, we decided to build the network, to build the buyer's application, the seller's application, based on a set of core values, which we really believe and think that represents what we, what we do in the, in the world that we want to see in the future, which are transparency. We believe that the users, the data owners, should understand and should be able to know who is using their data, for what purpose, for how long, etc. Anonymity, meaning that if you want to keep yourself anonymous in front of the data broker, in front of the, in front of the data buyers, you should be able to. 
fairness, meaning that the price of your data should be decided in, with the market-based um, um, process and, and control, meaning that you should be able to control who is using your data and so on. Um, so this is very important for us, and 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 it's it's the the principles that are guiding what we build, and 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 we get into a lot of problems because we're building this this way. So I wanted you to I want to put this very upfront. Um, so there are basically three participants in the in the Wipson network. Uh, two usual suspects, of course, that if you have a market for selling data, uh, you need the data sellers, us, people that own their own data, and the data buyers, companies, entities that want to access to that data. But there is, a, uh, that's, there is a third player, which is very characteristic of our, uh, of our protocol, and, and honestly something that somehow every decentralized data marketplace should have, or some one way or the other, because the problem is that when you're trying to sell your data in a decentralized, anonymous way, it's very difficult to make sure that there are real people selling real data. And you need, by design, to generate the right incentives in the marketplace for that to happen. Otherwise, I mean, the, the marketplace will have no value. So the notaries are those entities that make sure that the data and the users in the system, in the marketplace, are real and the data is trustworthy. Uh, and I will expand on that later. So. Remember this uh, broken ecosystem about the data monetization value change? So this is how it would like, look like with Wibson. Basically, the data buyers, companies that need data for their business connect directly on the Wibson marketplace uh, with the data sellers, people that own data, and they uh, can offer them um, can make them offers to buy their data, and if they're accepted, they can pay directly with with our Wibson token, um, privacy compliant. Okay, by explicitly understanding and consenting what you're selling for what purpose. How big is this market? That's a question that I get all the time. So. We, it's public on, on, on Medium, we did the research, and we found out that an average consumer in the United States, his data or her data is worth $240 per year only for digital advertising. So your data only for digital advertising today is generating $240 per year. And again, this is just one use case. This does not include traditional marketing, does not include finance, does not include the hedge funds using your data, does not include healthcare, DNA sequencing, or many, many other applications. And the why we are super excited about this is because um, if we believe that in the future, the economy will be, will be more and more dependent on AI. AI needs data. Data is the fuel of AI. So we can only see this number and the need for your personal information to go up, up, and up. So this should be much, this should get much, much, much bigger over time. Um, okay, so we launched a few months ago an application uh, that's very, very simple and can uh, and also very, very straightforward and open, okay? So it works uh, from, the, uh, it's a three simple steps to monetization. How it works is like you connect your data sources, meaning that you can connect through an OAuth API to your fa if it's Facebook account and get the data, to your LinkedIn account, to your Twitter account, to your Strava account, to many other accounts externally, but also internally from the phone, like, like your geolocation API, get your location data. That data is collected and stored encrypted on your phone. Okay, so each of us have our data encrypted on our phone. Up until then, we haven't sold anything. Your data is you have your data on your phone encrypted. Then you get an offer from a from a company. Uh, saying, uh, stating very, very clearly who is the company, 
what data are they, they are buying, how much they want to pay, what they're, they're going to use it for, uh, what's the use case they're going to use it for, for how long they're going to use it, and so on. So very, very clearly stating all the most important information that you need to know. And if you accept, the system sends the data to the buyer and the, the payment is released, which of course it happens on our Whips and Tokens web. Uh, so very, very easy, very, very transparent, uh, and representing the values that we believe very, very openly. Wipson never gets access to any of your data. This is on your phone and sent directly off chain to the to the data buyer encrypted. Uh, we don't ask. We don't even ask for an email for registration, so we don't get any information about you. That goes back to our core principles. We are like, focusing very much on being very open, very transparent, and very following our design principles pretty tightly. Um, so a few updates about uh, real traction. So we, we launched just about a few months ago. Um, and a lot of, there are a lot of nice metrics, but I, I wanted to focus on a few. So first, in the marketplace, there has been over 60,000 data transactions, meaning that companies bought, did, bought uh, well, sent offers, and 60,000 times they were accepted. Okay, by people. So their companies paid for data 60,000 times. Okay, um, the and, and the other uh, metric that I wanted to highlight is that we are in the top 10 of uh, the apps with real users. This is very important for us because we are not interested. We're here. For, we are a consumer-facing application, and we are here to build a real users marketplace. Okay, with real people and real data. So this is very important for us. I checked today, and we are still in the top 10. We are number 10 in the Ethereum apps in terms of uh, volume transactions. And late then, and the last thing that I wanted to point out is that there are 13,000, well, nah, today there will be more, but a few days ago when I, we made the presentation, there were a little bit over 13,000 Wibson holders, meaning that there are about, well, a little bit more 13,000 people that have their Wibson on their Wibson app, okay? Wibson app because they sold data, not because they bought the token for speculation or an exchange, so on, so on. Because they got their Wibson tokens because they had sold their data, okay? And, and the last thing which is super interesting for me is that we ran a survey and 60% of these people are new to crypto. It's people that didn't have any crypto before. And the typical way to get to crypto was from fiat to crypto, right? You own ten dollars, and you go. You have to go through a lot through through a lot of friction to get Bitcoin, to get an altcoin. Okay, that is very difficult for unsophisticated people. It might be very easy for us, but it's it's a very big barrier for adoption. Well, 60 people, 60,000 people, 60% 60 of these 13,000 people were new to crypto and they got crypto for the first time through data. So there is a new path to crypto here, which is not fiat to crypto, but data to crypto. And I'm very excited about it because we are bringing a new onboarding channel to crypto. And we all know how important it is to uh, bring more new people to the ecosystem. And I'm that's why I'm super excited about it. Um, so another piece of uh, update that I wanted to share with you is just uh, three weeks ago we launched uh, uh, our, our marketplace with Telefonica. Um, it might not be very well known in, in Asia, but Telefonica is a huge company. Um, it has over $60 billion in revenue and uh, over 340 million subscribers. And this is the number that we are most excited about because 
uh, by launching with them, they are being a notary, meaning they are certifying their identity of their users and the data of the users in the Webstone marketplace. So it's a huge onboarding channel for us. Okay? So we will be uh, uh, giving more uh, news over the next few weeks. But this is super exciting and super important for us. So to end, um, we used to say in the community, own your private keys. So in Grand Data, we say, own your data. Okay? This is just the beginning. Thank you.